the day and the big interview of the day has to be SpiceJet. The man who steered SpiceJet from a near-death experience is not talking about growth and expansion. In fact, Shireen spoke to Ajay Singh, the chairman of SpiceJet. He rules out any stake sale at the moment as he expects the Indigo IPO scheduled for later this year to boost the sector's valuations. Just to put things in perspective, Indigo is seeking valuation of around 20-25,000 crore and we have SpiceJet which is available at what, uh, 2,000 crores. I don't think investments are a challenge at all uh, at this point in SpiceJet. SpiceJet is a profitable airline. Uh, SpiceJet has shown two quarters of profitability. The prospects going forward look very good. Uh, there are no cash flow issues at all in hmm. the company at this uh, time. We expect that the Indigo IPO will be out uh, later this month. Uh, that will re-rate the sector. Uh, you know, there's very little uh, reason why Indigo would be worth, uh, you know, would, would, would be valued at 25,000 mm. crores and Spicet would continue to be valued at under 2,000 crores. We expect that there will be a re-rating. The argument is that you allow the Indian aviation market to open up, do away with 5 by 20 because anyway at this point in time, 70% of your inbound and outbound traffic is being carried by foreign airlines. So if anything, you're only going to, uh, you know, benefit foreign air aviation and foreign international hubs as opposed to the Indian aviation sector. So 5 by 20, their argument is actually constraining uh, Indian industry in Indian aviation. How do you respond to that? Uh, you know, there are some problems in terms of, you know, firstly, if you create a level playing field for all players, it, it probably works. Uh, the, the question really is that, uh, you know, uh, airlines that, that you mentioned, they are, they, they've used a, a, a formula by which they've become Indian carriers. Yeah. And our thought really is that are they really are they really are they really okay, and, because and, you're saying and, it's and, Indian and, ownership and, in Indian and, ownership they may not necessarily and, and be Indian carriers they, in that sense. they, yeah. they may not be yeah. and and will their countries and will those uh, you know the the uh, countries where they come from will they give us the same hmm. the exactly the same formulation if we decide to go and form airlines hmm. I mean today if I was to go and uh, make an airline in, in let's say in Dubai hmm. or uh, Abu Dhabi will they let me do it hmm. so Indian carriers today, India is a strong country, India has, has fantastic potential, they need to give me the same level play, playing mm. field that they expect in our country. And, and so, as I said, you know, it's tough to confine it to just that one 520 rule. Sure. The, the overall policy must encourage uh, Indian aviation, Indian players in Indian aviation, as well as infrastructure in terms of, you know, MROs, mm. in terms of training facilities, in terms of you know, being the service center of the world. So how, so, would, you, how would you classify an Indian airline? So it, because, I mean, Vistara and AirAsia also have majority Indian ownership at this yes, point of course. in time. So, so, it's yeah. so, so, you know, the, I think the thought at that time was that, that uh, Indian airlines would be controlled and managed by Indians, hmm. right? And that would be. So that would so be an Indian airline. So they're all Indian, right? You're all Indian. Yeah, true. The, but but if, you, if you look at them, are you, are you genuinely saying that hmm. AirAsia is, is today an Indian carrier? Hmm. Is it's that, not is for that me really to say, true? it's for the regulator that, to say. It's for the regulator to say. And but, it's for the but, aviation ministry that's granted them the approval uh, and the license. Of course. Yeah. So, for, so from our perspective, uh, some of those carriers are actually continue to be controlled by their parent. And their parent is sitting outside of India. Now, in those circumstances, I, we feel that there needs to be a level playing field for all players, mm. uh, for the Indian market as well as for the market overseas. So, so we need to find, we need to so find that So basically you're saying that 5 by 20, unless and until other changes are made, a, a holistic approach is taken to promote Indian aviation, at this point in time it should stay? Yes, there needs to be a holistic approach okay. to, to uh, uh, an aviation policy which encourages India to become an aviation superpower. So Okay, so a lot of takeaways, but the key takeaway was clearly the valuation game that a lot of these companies want to play. Now with uh, Indigo uh, getting listed, uh, uh, sooner uh, you'll have a benchmark uh, for some kind of valuation. But uh, let's.